Hey everybody, it's James Quick, and today I want to tell you about the live server extension for Visual Studio Code that's going to speed up your static web page development. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And just notice here I've got a really basic uh, application structure set up. I've got an index HTML, and it's got a link to my app.css style sheet and my app.js uh, script. So if I look in the app.js, it's got a console log here. I've got uh, my app.css, which I don't have anything in yet. And I've got just the, the index.html file open in Chrome. And just to test to make sure that the, the JavaScript file is connected, I put out a, a console log here and that seems to be working fine. So before we actually dive into what the live server extension does for you, which is some really good stuff, I want to talk about what, it, what the typical kind of workflow, at least in my experience, would be for working on a static site here in terms of making changes, seeing what they look like, and kind of going from there. So typically, if we wanted to come into the index.html and add a header tag that said live, not lice, that would be bad, live server extension, and save that, then I would have to come over here, click on Google Chrome, and click on refresh, and now I'll see a change. Now, if you're good with your keyboard shortcuts, you can do that a little bit better. So if I'd say updated, and save it and then I command tab to get over to Chrome and then I command R to refresh, I can see that update. So knowing your shortcuts, and I've got a, a video on Visual Studio Code shortcuts and then actually other shortcut videos would be useful in the future. Uh, but knowing your shortcuts and staying on the keyboard and not having to go to your mouse makes that a little bit faster of a process also, which is pretty handy. Uh, same thing if we wanted to make a change in the JavaScript file, so app dot, or app.js is connected and updated, uh, save this, tab over, refresh, um, then you can see this, this update here. And lastly, the same idea for the app.css, uh, we can change the body background to be blue, this is usually what I do just to test to make sure it's connected. Come over here and refresh, and there it is. Uh, all right, so let me get rid of this background blue. So again, if you're good with your shortcuts, this is not, it's not a huge, huge deal, but just kind of the tabbing back and forth between applications really does complicate things a little bit uh, as a developer, especially when you just wanna see what things look like. Um, when, once you get into scenarios where, uh, you know, you make a change, then you're, then you're using the application for a while and you're, you're experimenting with it, uh, this doesn't come into, come into play as much, but if you are just tweaking the look of your website and you're going back and forth between Visual Studio Code and Google Chrome or whatever your browser is, that can get a little tedious. So in comes the live server extension, and I wanna go ahead, let me search here for live server extension so I can show you guys what it is. It's created by Ritwick Day. It's got almost 93,000 downloads. It seems like most or all of them are five stars, and it is, it is that way for good reason. So what the live server does is it basically spins up a server behind the scenes it serves your static files, your HTML, your CSS, and your JavaScript. It opens your page in the browser, and anytime you make changes and save them to your, your HTML, your CSS, or your JavaScript, I think it sends a socket, a socket message to the browser to say, hey, go ahead and refresh your page. Come, come get these static files again because something's changed. So what that looks like, if you, if you look here in, in the preview, as changes are happening on the left, once they get done, as changes happen on the left and things get saved, you can see the update here without having to do anything. All right, so again, I encourage you guys to go get it, go get it if you haven't already. I see lots of people and lots of different tutorials using something at least similar to this, if not the exact same one. So maybe there's different plugins for uh, Sublime and, and different code editors, but for Visual Studio Code, this is the one that I've seen used a lot. And it's got, um, got tons of downloads so it's you know it's doing pretty well so I'm gonna go ahead let's save this CSS um, to get this started usually you'll have an icon down here after you in install the extension to get rid of that side panel you'll have the icon down here that says go live if you don't see that sometimes I don't uh, you can right click on your HTML file and do open with live server and so what this is gonna do again is go and create that server behind the scenes it's gonna open up your HTML page in the browser and notice here at this URL it's no longer a file system URL it's actually at a uh, an IP address and a port so this is going to again basically serve those static files from uh, from a server 
So let me open up the, close that, and I'll open up the uh, console here as well. Just make sure that, oh, make sure that the app JS is connected. So let's see what this does. So we, um, we can make a change in our HTML. So let's say updated with live server. And as I do uh, save, notice this is refreshing and it goes ahead and pulls that new update. And I can add uh, an H3 and say, this is my subtitle, whatever that wants to be. And without doing anything, it's gonna come over here and automatically refresh. So that's actually really nice. And so not only does that work with um, your HTML, anytime you make changes to your JavaScript, it'll work. So updated with live server, go ahead and save that. It'll do a refresh here again. And on the right in the console, you can see the change with live server. And then your app uh, in your CSS file, I can go back in here again and add background blue and save that. Go ahead and add the background blue there. So really, really simple. Again, you don't you don't have to do anything except save, make your changes and save your files. You know, one of the reasons this becomes really useful, especially with CSS, for example, is I think a lot of us uh, probably spend time doing this, where we will go in and select an element, we'll come down to the the element style, and we'll do uh, we'll change it to color red, whatever font size, forty six. Oh, not PC, forty six. Um, and maybe do a couple of other things, font, family, change that to a sans serif. Uh, so do a couple things and, and notice as you're changing those in the browser, that automatically gets updated for you. So that's really handy. And I, I think a reason that a lot of people do that. And then once you get done, those changes don't persist. So you can copy and then come over here and do an H1 selector and then paste in those rules. And then next time it reloads, those rules are there for you. You don't have to do anything. So again, one of the things that's like slightly complicated, not a huge deal, is that you're coming over to Chrome, you're making changes, you're copying styles, you're going over back to your CSS file and you're pasting them in, you're kind of going back and forth. And I often, I can't tell you how many times I've done this where I refresh my browser, browser page without copying those styles that, I've, uh, that I added and I had to go back and recreate them over and over again and that's kind of, uh, kind of a pain. So with this extension, you can do all of your changes here, do a quick save, update, see what it looks like, move really quickly on your just static websites. Once you're getting into your own server and stuff, your, your workflow might change, but just to see how things look and to, to see if they look the right way and to make, make tweaks and changes and, and make it better and better. Live server is gonna be really, really helpful for you guys. Uh, on Visual Studio Code, you can find, if you're using another uh, text editor, you can find other plugins. It, there might even be the one that's called the exact same thing. I don't know. Uh, but it's something I would highly recommend for you guys just to speed up your process, get rid of some of the, the back and forth between the browser and your, um, and your editor. So hopefully you, guys, uh, hopefully you guys install that plugin. Hopefully you guys take advantage of it and use it and get something out of it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm actually going to follow this video up with another video on really helpful extensions for uh, doing HTML in Visual Studio Code which will include the live server extension uh, as well as several others. So stay tuned for that and thank you guys for watching.